again to look at the very exciting magic eight balls you have all created. Yes, so many of them, 59 actually. Well, one of them was from me and Michael. So 58 people have done it. Although actually it was 59 because one of them was a collab with two people. Yeah, excellent stuff. Let me know who is here tuning in. Wow, Dave Collison is back again. Hello, Dave. Yes, lovely to see everyone here. Share the old screen. Here it is. Look at them. I have to scroll for an incredibly long time to see them all. It's amazing. Great news. Yeah. So thank you very much for submitting them all. Ooh, our story's here as well. And my D, mood? Who knows? Yes. Lovely. Oh, and Tim. Great stuff. Yes. So, Oh, hello, Alex. Um, as usual, I am going to have a look at all of the submissions and then we are going to announce the winner, which is currently being voted for here. If you have not voted yet, now's the time to do it because the vote will close in uh, fifth, no, 14 minutes. So, yes, make sure you cast your vote and you can vote for more than one. Yes, it's true. So, I will start with the people who are here and any that you request. So, if there are any you would like to take a closer look at from this list, let me know and I will do my best. And if you have submitted a solution, Give me a shout in the chat and then I will have a look at it. Yes, I'll start with Dave. So no, Dave did what? Dave has chosen this beautiful color scheme. And what is lovely is you can have the color scheme that Dave has chosen. Ooh, if it bleeds, we can kill it. It's a quote from another Screamer student. I really wonder how that came up. <laughs> what else? What an amazing effect. Very nice. You are unique, just like everyone else. One of Dave's own quotes. Alternatively, we can have normal eight ball mode. Let's try that. I'm sure that is very normal for an eight ball. <laughs> yeah, lovely. I am wondering where these colors came from. If it's using the um, dependency in here. Let's have a look. Random, looks like it, yeah. Great stuff, very nice, Dave, yes. Oh, also, Dave has put an elephant in the chat. That is because here, we like to do a thing where we, uh, if you have been before, put a tiger in the chat. And if you're new here, put a bunny rabbit in the chat. And if you're Dave, put an elephant. Yes. <laughs> so you can do that now while I look at the other solutions. Yeah. Who else is here? Ah, Tim. I know has submitted just this morning. So let's have a look at Tim's. Yeah. Here it is. Ooh. Lovely styling. Ask a yes, no question. Leave blank for random advice. Okay, I'll go for random. Life does not stop and start at your convenience. Ooh. Until you start believing in yourself, you ain't gonna have a life. So true. Thank you, Tim, for this lovely submission. Yeah. Ooh, lots of tigers in the chat. Oblivious Dev, a double bunny rabbit. Hello, Oblivious Death. Yes, thank you, Tim. Oh, I didn't put your name on the screen. Here's Tim. Lovely solution. Let's take a look at Artor. First, I'll remove the bunny instructions. Oh, that's a <laughs> I clicked the wrong one. Never mind, ignore that. So, 
Otto has done this one. And what I can do is, ooh, I have a limited number of questions. Can't ask too many questions. My question will be, should I eat cake? Do or do not? There is no try. Well, good advice, Artur's eight ball. I will remember that. Yes. Lovely. Who else has submitted? I know that Lacho has. So let's take a look at that one. Ah. Very nice. So to advise. Control your temper. Remember, you can measure the size of a person by what makes him or her angry. If you want to get up, if you want to gather honey, don't kick the beehive. That is a good tip. <laughs> I will remember that. Yes, very nice solution. And nice, eloquent code as well. And it is uh, dynamic. So if we were to add more advice, then the function would still work and potentially show all of the different types of advice. Yes, lovely. Well done, that show. Who else has submitted? Ooh, Robert Peacock, laboring on Labor Day. That is some hustle. Is it Labor Day? I mean, I assume it is. Yes, it is. Don't know what that is. We don't do Labor Day here. I even spelt it with the UK. <laughs> if we did have it, it would have a U in it, uh, but we don't. So no holiday for me. <laughs> Never mind. Yes. Well, happy Labor Day to all of you celebrating. I assume it's a celebration. If not, very sorry. Yes. Hope you're having a lovely day. Ooh, more tigers. Yeah. Ooh, Farah is new as well. Lovely. Tim Wrinkle has sent a full tiger. Dave Collison, I used to believe in myself until some geezer down the pub told me I wasn't real. So it must be true. A geezer in the pub told me. I think you're very real, Dave. Yeah. Your solutions are real as well. So that's good. Welcome, Mustafa. Yes. <laughs> it's nice to see the tigers and rabbits living together in peace. Yes. And elephants. Yes. I have a submission. Ooh. Okay. Let's have a look at Alex's submission. Here it is. Oh, it's got sounds. Turn up volume. Play. Ask me any question. Can I go for eat cake again? That's the important question. Ooh, very doubtful. Oh no. Maybe eat cupcake. Concentrate and ask again. Eat chocolate cupcake. You may rely on it. See, I just wasn't asking the right question. It needed to be more specific. Yes, lovely. Which else shall I look at? Um, let me know in the chat. Which one catches your eye? Yeah. Very stylish. I agree. Yeah. Very satisfying noise as well. Oh, let's check out this one. We have a lovely... Uh, Purpley scene, yes, beautiful. And, ooh, a nice effect. And a really nice font. I wonder what font that is. Font. Kaohsiung script, cursive, lovely. Yeah, that is very nice. And it has a limited amount of advice, apparently. Ooh. Only three, really. I'm gonna test that again. So that's my three. Oh yeah, now the button's not working. Ooh, interesting. Where's Michael? Michael is in the next room, yeah. He sometimes comes on Monday, but he always comes to the Friday one. Yeah, but quite a lot of the time, it's just me, yeah. Awesome, very nice solution. Who was that? I've forgotten. Michael, another Michael. Michael Alim. <laughs> yes, lovely. Okay, uh, oh, let's have a look at this. Let's 
got the word pumpkin in it. If you don't know, that's the name of my cat. He also comes to the Friday live streams. Currently outside sunbathing. Yeah. Eat. Banana. Your reply. You can count on it. I actually can't. Um, <laughs> I'm not a fan of bananas. But you know, maybe it knows something I don't. Yeah. And has included a nice amount of advice. Yeah. Ooh, let's shake it. Can you actually shake it then? Let's give it a go. No. It was more a metaphorical shake. But still, very nice. Yes. Mm. Can I check yours out, Andy Catlow? I sure can. Cat low. I happen to know that this one has a cat on it. So here we are. Ooh. Oh yeah, this is cool because there's three different uh, modes, if you will. Classic, Zen, which is this. Ooh, very Zen-like. So this was classic. Yes, this is Zen and this is Leanne mode. <laughs> with <laughs> a llama and a gradient background, of course, and a pumpkin in the background. Yeah. Advise me. What does Leanne Mode say? If you're good at something, never do it for free. True story. What about Zen Mode? Who? A person is limited only by the thoughts that he chooses. Wow. That is good advice. Andy Cutler, yeah, very cool. Shrian says, hello everyone, happy Monday. Indeed, hello to Debus. I think Debus has submitted one. Let's have a look. Yes, advise me. Good luck fingers. Do or do not, there is no try. It's what you do right now that makes a difference. I'm live streaming right now. I hope it's making a difference. I'm not sure what type of difference. Yes. Lovely. Huh. Inner HTML. That's good. I think I used, well, we used text content, but inner HTML is good as well. Oh, look. It seems that there is also a limit on the amount of advice we can have on this one. Yeah. Hope you have had good tips. I sure have. Yeah. 60 submissions this week. Yes. Hello, Michael. Yes. We just looked at yours. It was lovely. Alex Azarian, wondering what the next week's challenge is going to be. Yes. Stay tuned and all will be revealed. Hmm. For some reason, the animation didn't work when you showed mine. You're really good. I couldn't make it fail. <laughs> oh no, really? I wonder if it's a Chrome issue. Yeah. Let me know uh, which, what's it called, browser you've used. Yes. I believe pumpkin stars in one of my pieces of advice. Pumpkins aren't just for Halloween. That is so true. Pumpkins are for all year round. Ooh. Marta Diaz has submitted. I know that much. Here it is. Lovely intergalactic uh, theme. Shake it. Answer questions. I don't read minds, it tells me. Okay. Yeah. Will I space travel? Ask again later. Hmm. Okay. Can I ask the same question again? No. No. Okay. Will I? Hmm. Lose my phone. These are the things I worry about. Try again later. Oh no. Okay, I think it wants the eat cake question. Oh no, I have to start again. Eat cake. Ooh. View live. What does this do? Oh. Drink tea. If you're bored, it's because you are boring. <laughs> yeah, one of my teachers used to say that to us. Only boring people get bored. 
Yeah, lovely. Folk are saying lovely a lot today. But there are some very good solutions. Yes, yours is amazing, Andy. Yes. Maria, hello. Suli Lei, hello. A bunny rabbit. That is cool. Has next week's challenge got anything to do with clocks? I might have something ready. Um, it kind of does, actually, but not what you're thinking. Yes. Tried it in Safari, Firefox, and Chrome, says Tim. Let's give it another go. I shall try it in Safari. I'm going to shorten my question to eat. I feel like I might be doing something wrong, but I don't know what. <laughs> Let me know. I'm entering the question. I'm pressing the button. But it's a very good solution anyway. Animation or no animation? Oh, no. What is happening? Um, it's just telling me to wait, but I don't think that's a problem. I can do with waiting sometimes, yeah. See you don't. hello. That's weird, it is weird, extremely weird. Yes, I don't know what to make of it. Oh, the poll has now closed. However, let's look at a few more solutions before we reveal the winner. This one has many bells and whistles, including this animation. I'm going to go for random advice. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. I'm going to save it. So I can now save it in this bookmark and then get more advice. Don't promise what you can't deliver. Well, I'm going to save that one as well. I'll save all of them. And then I can go back to my bookmarks. Great idea. Yeah. Oh, you will always regret the round of tequila. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is so true. Okay, well done. DIY Sane or D Sana. Yes. Shreyans. Oh yes, good one. Very colourful. Accept challenges so that you may feel the exhilaration of victory. That is good advice. Yes. Ah, uh, what should I click? Ooh, encourage me. Those who dare to fail miserably can achieve greatly, said John F. Kennedy. Did he fail miserably? I would argue not, but maybe he said that before he succeeded. Yes. Alternatively, you can even listen to an encouraging song. Let's go. I won't play this because I'll get a copyright strike, but this is what happens. A very nice touch. Yes. Ooh. Can I check yours out? Sile. Submission is under Mason. I sure can. Here it is. It advise me. The police don't want you to know this, but the ducks in the park are free. You can take them home. I don't know what Pumpkin would say about that. Yeah. <laughs> he likes to eat duck. Yeah. Really good styling though. Very realistic. Lovely. You can edit the advice too. Really? Wow. Uh, I think that was this one. Advise me. Oh yeah, you can. I would not recommend this, but for the sake of this, I will. If you're going uh, loopy, save advice. Wow, a functionality I didn't even realize. Perfect. Just click on it. These are all great, says Tim. Yes, indeed. Okay, I'm going to look at oh. one more. Sile made a random hex generator for the color change on that one. Excellent. Let's look at one more and then reveal the winner. I reckon this one.
Click below for five elite life advice. Okay, enlighten me. We don't stop playing because we grow old. We grow old because we stop playing. Oh. You cannot be anything if you want to be everything. The truth hurts, and so will you if you were stretched as much. <laughs> Maybe we should make an insult generator next. <laughs> that one could be in there. Great. Okay. It is time to reveal the winner. So, drum roll, please. There's no drum roll sound on here. I'll do a train. <laughs> okay. Reveal the results. Wow. Check it out. The winner is Lacho. Which was this one with the wonderful advice Don't be afraid of enemies who attack you, be afraid of the friends who flatter you. Sage words, indeed. Well done to Lacho. Just send me a message on Discord and or Twitter, and I'll arrange the prizes. Also, we must do one randomly selected winner from here. Yes, and to do that, generate random number, JS. This, I used to type this, but then I thought, why do that when I can copy it from my Grepper extension? Uh, I need some JS file though. Okay. Let random winner equals, uh, but that has got to be 59 because we have 59 oops, solutions. Yes. Okay. So now I have done that and I just want to console dot lock random winner not random cover okay who will it be number 28 now i have to count oh crikey okay three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen twenty one twenty four twenty seven this one who andres has won six months of Scrimba Pro. We might as well have a look at Andres's solution while we're here, yeah? There are seven pieces of advice. More pieces of advice can be added. The list will be updated each time a piece of advice is added. There is a limited number of times that all can be asked and the pieces will appear randomly. Okay, what is my advice for the day? Where? Sunscreen. Add you. Advise me. Yes. Ooh, and there is my advice. Showing up. Amazing. And now the number of advice allocations has gone down. Yes. Well done to you. I've forgotten the name of the person. Andres. <laughs> yes. Excellent news. <laughs> you can type random number between one and 59 and you can. Yeah, that's true. I've got to pretend I'm doing something. Thank you so much, everyone, says Lacho. Well deserved. And you totally do have skills to get this. The public has spoken. Beautiful, totally. Deserves it, really. I completely agree. So, well done everyone, as Marta says, for your wonderful solutions. I've really enjoyed looking at them all. And what's good is how different they all are. All slightly different features and styling and code. Yeah, brilliant. Let's look at the next challenge. Here it is. It is. A Pomodoro timer. Yes, you have a display and some buttons. Work 
short break, long break. And the job is to set it up so that when you hit work, it counts down 25 minutes, short break, five minutes, long break, 15 minutes. Or you can change them. It's up to you. There is the link. You have two weeks to do this solution. And as usual, all of your solutions will appear on here. And then we'll look at them in two weeks time. And of course, you can, wrong one. You can change up the styling. You can add extra functionality. You can do anything you want. But I'm sure you all know that because you have extremely uh, creative solutions. So Alex says, yes, love this. Good news. Yes, a slightly tougher challenge. We will see. Good luck for the next one, everyone. Yes, Michael and I will be coding this on YouTube on here, I suppose, on the 17th of September with Pumpkin. Should I do this? Yes, I'm going to. Screw it. I got a comment earlier about the last live code. Person said, I've blocked them out because they did later delete it. <laughs> Very difficult to make it through the horrible silliness at the start which was followed by them trying to figure out how to code this as they went along. Total waste of time. I don't know what this person is talking about. It was an extremely serious broadcast, as you can see from the thumbnail, which has a picture of a cat. How could it not be serious? Yes. So it wasn't a total waste of time. You saw a cat at least. <laughs> and it wasn't silly. So there you go. That's shown you. Anyway. Hopefully, this one won't be silly. <laughs> it will be extremely serious. Yes, we'll put suits on for it. And you can see us live coding this. Maybe making fools of ourselves. Yeah. And then, uh, yes, there'll be another show, just like this one, where we will look at all the solutions. Looking forward to it. Indeed. Yes. They're all extremely serious, says Dave. Gosh, they are. I completely agree. So I guess that's about it. Thank you for tuning in and for taking part in the weekly web dev challenge. And, oh, no, <laughs> this is important. I will be back on Wednesday with Jermaine Jupiter, tech recruiter, who would like to review your CVs. And if you would like your CV reviewed, there is a link in the weekly web dev challenge, but I will also post it in the chat. Here we go. So send over your CV and we will review it. Do you have a YouTube ch channel, Leanne? Oh, it's funny you should ask actually, Dave, because I do, yeah. Who it is? <laughs> Code with Leanne. Yes, inventively named. And my latest video is an accessible icon with JavaScript. I hope it's accessible. It was actually quite hard to find information about how to do this. So if you know any ideas of how to make it more accessible, give me a shout. Yes. OK, looking forward to seeing you all hopefully on Wednesday, if not at the next live coding event. Have a lovely week. <laughs>